नमस्कार दोस्तों क्या आप जिम जाते हो अगर जा रहे हो और आपकी बॉडी स्टिफ हो रही है तो उसका रीज़न ये हो सकता है कि आपके मसल्स टाइट हो गए और उसकी वजह से आपकी जो पहले नेचुरल फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी थी वो अभी धीरे धीरे कम हो रही है कभी कभी ऐसा होता है कि भाई आप जब खाना खाना चाहते हो लेकिन हाथ यहाँ पर आके रुक जाते थे मेरे एक फ्रेंड का जब मैं बॉम्बे था तो उसका ऐसा ही हालत था वो बॉडी बिल्डर था और उसने अच्छी तरह से अपनी बॉडी को बना दिया था जिम कर कर के लेकिन एक टाइम ऐसा आया कि इतना उसका बाइसेप मसल्स बढ़ गया अभी उसका हाथ एक बार एक एरिया में आके वहाँ पर लॉक हो जाता था तो दिक्कत ये होती थी कि अभी उसको कुछ भी खाना है तो हाथ से अपने खा नहीं सकता तो उसको बड़ी स्पून चाहिए होती थी क्योंकि उसकी वजह से वो खा सके तो ये आपको ध्यान देना पड़ेगा अगर आपको जिम का शौक है और आपको जिम रेगुलर बेस के ऊपर करना है अपनी हेल्थ को और मेंटेन करना है बॉडी को और ज़्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग बनाना है तो उसके साथ साथ अगर आप मैं अगर ये वीडियो में बताऊँगा स्ट्रेचिंग आप करेंगे तो डेफिनेटली आपकी फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी बढ़ जाएगी तो बहुत ज़रूरी है स्ट्रेचिंग मेरी पर्सनल लाइफ में भी मैं बहुत अच्छी तरह से स्ट्रेचिंग करता हूँ और रेगुलर बेस के ऊपर मैं अपने जॉइंट्स को अच्छी तरह से मूवमेंट में रखता हूँ ताकि उनकी फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी मेंटेन रहे तो आप भी ये वीडियो देखिए और ये वीडियो के जरिए आप अपनी बॉडी को फ्लैक्सीबल करें बिफोर वी बिगिन दिस वीडियो डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल फॉर मोर डेली टिप्स लाइक दिस एंड टर्न ऑन नोटिफिकेशन सो यू नेवर मिस आर न्यू वीडियोस Remember guys, you always need to add those stretches at the end of your workout. A lot of us just tend to do the strengthening and then we leave. Remember, you got to strengthen and lengthen those muscles. So, find 5 minutes right now or at the end of your workout. Grab a mat. We're going to relax, stretch our legs out and end your workout in an awesome way. All right, let's do it. And I have a 5 minute miracle class for you today that is perfect to do after you work out. Okay guys, so we're going to start by taking a child's pose, but we're going to reach to the side. So bring your hips over to the right side first, and then you're going to reach your arms all the way over towards the left corner of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, just let yourself release all the way down, feeling a nice stretch along the right side of your back. And then switching sides, same thing to the other side. So shifting your hips to the left. reaching your arms over to the right corner of your mat. Come back to center and up into your all fours. Cat cow stretch inhale, exhale rounding the spine. Inhale arch the back. Exhale release. From here tuck your toes and up into downward facing dog. Nice stretch. Reaching your right leg up to the sky. Hold for a moment. Feel the stretch along the left side, bending your right knee. And when you're ready, stepping forward to the very top of your mat, right in between the hands. Dropping your back knee and reaching both arms up into your low lunge stretch. Let those hips sink all the way down to the floor. Come all the way down with your body, bringing your weight to your left knee, extending your right leg, flexing your foot. Come down with your head to knee. Feeling a nice stretch through the hamstring. Inhale, exhale. Coming forward back into your lunge, and then from here tuck your back toes, lifting your back knee off the floor. High lunge. Take a moment to breathe in, and then when you're ready, stepping right back into your one-legged dog, reaching that right leg up, and then opening your hips. I want you to stack your right hip over left hip. Feeling that stretch, and then taking your pigeon pose, right knee to your right thumb, hips are square, and then from here come all the way down to your elbows, or all the way down with your chest, and breathing into the right side of your body. So feeling a nice stretch through the right glute. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale and exhale out. Very nice. From here, let's lift our chest up. We're going to do a nice stretch for the quadricep. So, first, this is called a mermaid pose. First, we're going to take the modified version where you're literally just reaching your left hand back, grabbing onto that left ankle and pull the heel to your butt. Feel the stretch. If you're up for going for the most advanced version, go ahead and bring your elbow to your left toes and then hook those fingers together. 
again, don't worry if you can't do it, it's quite an advanced pose. Just do the first version, that's fine. As long as you feel the stretch, that's what's important. Release, come down with your chest, tuck your toes, and let's come up into your downward facing dog. Let's take it to the other side. Left leg reaches up, bending your left knee, and big step top of the mat with your left foot, dropping your back knee to the floor, low lunge, hold and breathe. From here, lowering your arms down, go ahead and shift your weight to your back knee, extending your left leg, flex your left foot, keeping your back straight. Remember, you're folding from the hips, not your lower back. And let yourself go again. Get that forehead as close to your knee as possible. Now, you can always also use props here by holding on to two blocks or two books if you have any at home. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale. With each exhale, see if you can go a little bit further down. And then come back into your lunge. Tuck your back toes. High lunge. Hold here for a moment. Make sure the palms of your hands are grounded. You're going to take that left leg and reach it right up towards the ceiling. Opening and stacking those hips again. Now this time, left hip over right hip. And then taking your pigeon on your left side. So left knee to your left thumb. Hips are square, deep breath in, and exhale, make your way down to your elbows, and then all the way down with your chest. With each exhale, see if you can really let yourself go into this posture, feeling that release through the left glute. Good, let's take one more deep breath in. Exhale slowly, you're gonna bring your chest back up. Let's do our mermaid pose. So taking your right arm, bring it all the way back, grab onto that ankle, and simply pull the heel towards your glute. And then if you'd like to try the full pose, then go ahead and bring your right elbow towards the right toes, and then go ahead and hook your fingers. Again, don't worry if you can't do this pose. Just try your best. Pull that heel in, nice, and then extend, release, grounding the palms of your hands, release the body, tuck your back toes, up into downward facing dog. Take a moment to breathe, feel the stretch, and then come forward into plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, drop those shoulders away from the ears, and then add a little twist, looking over to each heel. See if you feel a little bit more of a stretch in the back. And then come over to your knees and sit back into your child's pose. And let's take one more deep breath in. Exhale out, come up to your all fours, and then make your way over to your mat in a seated position with your feet crossed in front of you. Rest your hands on your knees and just do a big head roll to one side, and then head roll to the other side, releasing the neck. Inhale, reaching the arms up, big breath in. Exhale, hands down. Let's do that one more time. Big breath in, reach up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands to your heart. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you feel a little bit more stretched out, a little bit more loose. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon again. Bye. मेरा कंटेंट अच्छा लगा मेरे वीडियो आपको अच्छे लग रहे हैं तो प्लीज लाइक कीजिए इस वीडियो को शेयर कीजिए और कमेंट में बताइए कि आप क्या समझते हैं क्या जानना चाहते हैं और नेक्स्ट वीडियो के लिए आपको क्या देखना है तो मुझे नीचे कमेंट में बताइए थैंक यू